Hi, welcome to WorkCraft, the studio side of craft work. Today we're going to be mixing up some bases for marbling, which I'm going to be doing on Tuesday on our live stream. But today I'm just going to show how I make my base um, and also test out a way for you to potentially make your own base at home. I use something called Karanegin, which is an algae derivative and it comes in a powdered form like this and then I mix it with water and let it settle overnight and then I'm able to use it. And what that does is it thickens the water so that ink can lay on top and the marbling can happen on top. So mixing it up is pretty simple. Like I said, it comes in this package, comes in all different sizes. I get my carrot. you know what? I called it carinegin. It's carrageenan. That's fine. Um, I get my carrageenan from a company called Jacquard, and I usually get it from the art store, from Artists and Craftsmen, but you can also order it online. And I'm going to fill a two quart uh, bucket with warm water. And then I wanna use, for every, let's see, for every quart of warm water, you use one teaspoon of carrageenan. So since I have two quarts here, I'm just gonna put two teaspoons in a separate small cup and then I'm gonna blend it all together. If I had a big blender for this stuff, I would just put it all in at once, but you'll see my blender in a second. It's tiny. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend it in batches. Nice. And it gets really foamy. And it's kind of like, at this point it's pretty thin. It's like the consistency of like skim milk. But it'll thicken to, I mean it doesn't thicken like, it's not thick, it like, but it thickens to more, more than milk. Like, <laughs> it gets kind of like slimy and um, almost feels like oily. So my second batch. Ultimately it's gonna thicken to like, if you mixed hair gel with water. That's what we want it to be by tomorrow. So yeah, now everything's like slimy. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't recommend if you end up ordering any of this carrageenan on your own. Um, it, works, it works really well for marbling. It's a great base um, to use as your size, but it's, um, it's actually used in some things as a thickener, like in oat milk and almond milk and things like that in particular, but it's not good for you. Um, so I wouldn't use, like this is my craft blender only. Um, so I'd recommend if you have a blender that's for crafts, use that. Or if you don't, you can just mix it with like a whisk or a fork or something that's, you know, then that would be your craft fork or your craft whisk at that point. Um, and as long as you get all the clumps out and mix it up, that'll work just fine. I just use the blender because I have it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a lid on this and put it in the fridge overnight and then it'll be ready to go as long as I take it out a few hours before I wanna use it. And um, yeah, so that's that. And I hope to see you on Tuesday in the live stream. If you're watching this after Tuesday, I hope you enjoyed the live stream. And if you haven't already, subscribe in the button below. We appreciate it, we love it. I hope you love it. And um, come back and watch more craft work, work craft, and 360 videos with Hailey Violet.